everyone. As you all may have heard, there's a theory been going around lately that Jar Jar Binks, the infamous guy himself, may be a Sith Lord. Now I won't go into the theory too deep in this video because there's other videos that have done this before. I just wanted to give my opinion on the matter and my opinion is this is a really interesting and exciting theory. So here's the thing right. The, the thing is, I'll give you a brief explanation for those who don't know. Basically, some guy went back and watched the prequels and he believes that the actions that Jar Jar Binks takes in those movies, the fact that there were all the stupid moves, the stupid things he does that make him look like a complete idiot, are not actually him, that he's actually doing this on purpose to make it look like he's an idiot while it could be further from the truth. <coughs> See, some people don't actually believe that Jar Jar Binks is actually a sit lord, and not just that, but could potentially be Palpatine's partner in all this. And it's very interesting when you watch the theory or read the theory, and you start noticing things like everything Jedi Binks is talking to someone like that important. He's always waving his hands in a certain manner, and that's what Jedi usually do to like influence people or mind control or do Jedi mind tricks. And it's interesting when you look at it, and then sometimes there's this some video clips, I recommend you go check it out if you, if you want to look more into it, is that sometimes when people are talking, like, you see Jaja Jar Binks' like, mouth moving, and it seems like he's saying the words that the person is also saying. And the thing is, Jaja Jar Binks is a CGI character, so every movement or lip movement that he makes is deliberate. It didn't just happen, it's not, it's not human, it's not something that just happens, like, out in random. The, every movement he makes is deliberate since he's a CGI character, which adds even more, well, credibility to this theory. But the thing is, also, Jada Binks' voice actor from the prequels said recently, there's something that really, it gives a bit of credibility, a bit of weight to this theory. And uh, it, there's a whole bunch of different things that are kind of lining up to make this theory actually seem plausible. Which is just crazy. When you think about this, fucking crazy. Basically, there's going to be a, a filling in the, the new Star Wars trilogy. I believe his name is Supreme Leader Snook. And he's a Gungan general, or I believe, or something. A lot of people believe that this guy is actually going to be Jar Jar Binks. That is fucking incredible and insane at the same time. I mean, think of it this way. This is one of the biggest moments in... The history of Star Wars, because if this turns out to be true, this is going to give it a completely new outlook on the prequels. I like the prequels, but as you know, many people hate it. But if Jar Jar ends up being the Sith Lord the entire time, and and he ends up being the mastermind in the new trilogy, then that just makes the that just makes the prequels seem a bit better. You know, since they were able to work so well around it, it'll make the pre it'll improve the prequels, which would be incredible. And who knows, it might actually get, make the prequels a bit more popular and may, make some new fans appreciate the prequels. It's just, we're in a very unique situation here, because here's the thing, right? Like Disney, like, yeah, they, they made, a lot of people think they just want to make movies tied to the originals, but why would you just want to limit yourself to the originals? Disney are, let's be honest with you, Disney are great at making movies and all that. But they're a business, and they're a very successful business. They they know how to sell merchandise, they know how to merchandise stuff, they know what brands to use, and they know how to exploit the brands to make it as popular and as profitable as possible. And the, let's be honest, the prequels have a lot more stuff, content, that they can use to merchandise with the Clone Wars, with just simply the amount of stuff that happened in the prequels. I mean, come on, there was no way they're just going to yeah, ignore the previous completely. And bringing Jaja Binks into it as the supreme leader Snoop would be perfect. And there's a whole bunch of other stuff that leads credence to this theory, such as Jaja Binks does, the way he moves, the action he does is, a, is from an old drunken, uh, is from an old uh, martial arts skill. I think it's called the drunken monkey technique or something, something like that. It, I forget, it's basically something like that. I believe Jackie Chan used the same martial arts in the movie he made and basically the whole point of the style is that you take out your opponents but you look goofy as hell doing it. But you look goofy but you're effective and let's see, that's what Jazz are being says. <coughs> One little thing, the thing I like is that when we watched the, the Phantom Menace, Jazz are being pulled off all these things and we kept saying, oh god he's just lucky. It, it, it kind of suspends your belief that this guy is so lucky that everything worked out for him. But then Obi Wan said in a four, what was it, Star Wars New Hope. There, there's no such thing as luck. I know you, 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 there's no way they could have planned 
all this from the beginning. But the thing is, uh, there was supposed to be, I think if you read, read the theories or you read it, look at his theories, you would pray hard as already, but there was supposed to be a Yoda type character in the prequels. Like basically, in the original trilogy, Yoda was basically Yoda's character thought he was just like innocent, like non threatening creature, and, but then we found out that he was just badass, he was the ultimate Jedi, and there was supposed to be a character like that in the prequels because they honestly they did pound for pound, like imitate the original trilogy perfectly in the prequels. Now, there was always a character that fit another character in the original trilogy, except for the Yoda character, and an innocent creature that turned out to be something far greater. That is, sounds a lot like Jar Jar Binks, and that would be perfect. And the funny thing is, is Andy Serkis is going to be in The Force Awakens. And I'm wondering, what's Andy Serkis best known for? Playing CGI characters. I mean, come on. Like Gollum, for example, Caesar in Planet of the Apes. I mean, it's, everything's just connecting too well for this not to happen. But the thing is, if, why, we, why we all can be excited and interested in see how this develops? We have to kind of keep a level head because if this doesn't happen, well, in, in the end it is just a theory at the moment. And if it doesn't happen, we still got to appreciate the movies for what they are and what the Force Awakens will be. But there is a little bit part of me hoping that this is true and that it means is indeed the ultimate Sith Lord. Because I think it would be amazing and it would just be fantastic. That's all I wanted to say. So thank you for listening. As always, if you like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you next time.